Hi, I'm Mike, and on this installment of Summit Racing Quick Flicks, we're going to discuss assembling your own custom spark plug wire sets. To assemble a set of custom spark plug wires, you're going to need three tools. You're going to need a pair of wire snips, a set of crimpers or dies, which sometimes will be included with the wire set that's purchased and some spray lubricant to get the boots on the wires. There are three steps to assembling your custom wire set. Step one is to cut the wires to length, step two is to crimp the ends on, and step three is to install the boots. When you take the wires out of the box, the wires are going to be pretty long to start with and you're going to notice that the boots are already going to be assembled on the wire for the spark plug ends. The reason for this is, is so that you can cut them to the specific lengths that are necessary for your application. Whether it be you're running a set of wire looms or you're going to zip tie the wires in place on your application, whether you're going to run them under or over the exhaust manifolds, it's best to go ahead and, and set up the wires and do basically a dry fit. Meaning that because the, the spark plug boots are already on the, the wires, you can go ahead and put them in place, route them in the position that you want them in for your specific application and then cut them to the specific length necessary for your setup. Now that your wires have been cut to the proper length, the next step is to crimp your ends on the wires. Before you can do this though, it's important to understand what type of crimped ends uh, that you're using. There are two versions available. You're going to have the single crimped end and the double crimped end. We're going to explain how to go ahead and crimp both of these version terminals on your wire set. The first style of crimp end I'm going to show you how to install is a single crimp type end, which is probably the most common uh, in the industry today that comes with most types of wire sets. The first thing you're going to have to do after you've cut your wire to length is go ahead and strip the end of the wire. So we'll take our crimpers here, and you're probably going to want to leave about three quarters of an inch of, of the wire lead hang out, out of the, outside the wire after, it, after it's been stripped. Your, your crimpers will have a, a stripper attachment in the die assembly to make this possible. So let's crimp down on here. If you want to do it twice because you're going to end up with it buckling on the end, you'll have to typically twist it off. And you'll want to see a lead something to, the, to this length. Next you'll want to fold the wire lead over and place the, the terminal end on the wire, making sure that the wire lead coincides with the back side on the terminal. Then you'll want to take your crimpers, and you'll notice your crimpers have a defined end on them. They're supposed to coincide with the opened end of the connector. You place those on the terminal. And crimp it down in place. And what you'll end up with is a connection like that. The installation of the dual crimp connector uh, in comparison to the single crimp connector is slightly different, starting with the way that the wire is stripped. The dual crimp connector requires that less wire be exposed when the wire is stripped um, to be placed in the connector. Your crimp tool will have a die in it that's designed specifically to show you the depth of which the uh, wire should be stripped. So what you'll do is you'll take your wire assembly place it in the, in, the, in the die, in the crimper, and basically make it flush to the end of the, of the crimper assembly. Crimp it down into place, and you'll see that it's now only going to expose roughly a quarter inch of the wire in comparison to about three quarters of an inch or so um, with the single crimp connector instead. Unlike the single connector type terminal, a dual connector terminal does not require that the, the uh, wire end be bent over. Instead it is just placed right into the connector and you want it to coincide with these two tangs here on the connector itself. And then what you'll do is you'll take your crimpers and you'll, on the end of your crimpers you'll notice that you have these, these two jaws that are a little different than the rest. Place them around the end that's, that's encompassing the wire, crimp it down, you'll notice that it caught the wire assembly. 
Then you'll take your crimpers and place them like your single connector connection and crimp them in the normal location. And that gives you the dual connector connection. The final step to assembling your wire set is put placing the boot on the wires. To do this, it's best to have some sort of non-flammable uh, lubricant or maybe some liquid soap uh, to go ahead and, and, and lubricate the pieces so they go together very easily. I'll, I'll take some, some spray lubricant typically and I'll spray the inside of the boot as well as the end of the, end of the wire so that they do not bind up against one another. Spread it around here. Then we'll go ahead and slide the boot over the end of the wire assembly to the point where you'll be able to see the terminal through the end of the boot. Now that your custom wire set has been assembled, they are ready to be installed on your vehicle. For more quick flicks, visit the Summit Racing YouTube channel. Visit Summit Racing online at www.summitracing.com. Follow us on Twitter at twitter.com backslash summit racing. Or like Summit Racing on Facebook at facebook.com backslash summit racing equipment.